and antibiotics. Yes, apparently there's a massive rise in um, antibiotic resistant blood poisoning. Basically, uh, antibiotics are no longer working. And it's such a threat, to, it's, a, it's a massive threat to global health now, according to experts, which is very worrying. Yeah, I mean, people just get used to them. They, they do. Yeah. And they go for antibiotics for any, they, they, people want antibiotics for everything, when sometimes, they, you know, they don't need them. Let's go inside one of your many papers then, the Carnarvon Herald, um, a new school project and controversy over a path to a cemetery. Yes, the, a school Hendra is going to be a lovely massive new school in Carnarvon, but unfortunately there's going to be a footpath going through the local cemetery, which children will have to be used to get access, I think. So there's a massive outcry in the community, lots of protesting been going on, um, and I think Gwyneth Council really should have foreseen that this would happen. So the, the path is meant to go right through the cemetery yes. for the school children? Yeah. And what are parents saying and what are locals saying? Well, the, there's a lot of people with relatives and children and on, you know, buried in, in that cemetery. And what they're saying as well is if there's a funeral going on and the children are going through, you know, it's, it's, it's a mess, basically. So you've gone big on that story, haven't you, in that paper. Um, the Daily Mail, what have you seen in there? Um, alcohol um, will cause 210,000 deaths during the next 20 years in Britain. It's, it's funny, my partner's Portuguese and we go every year. There's no alcohol culture there at all. You, kid, you know, you take your families out, um, everybody enjoys themselves, nobody gets drunk. It's just, it's this, it's this country's mentality about alcohol which is awful, I think. And on a Saturday night in Abubanga, I mean, I haven't been for a while to the Globe, the men I've all, so, I mean, what, what is it like these days? Well, I don't think it's as bad as it used to be now. When we were there. <laughs> when we were there. But, uh, um, you know, we, the people get out, go out to get as drunk as they can, unfortunately, in this country, it seems like. Um, and, and then they pay the price in later years. Let's talk rugby then. Um, it's on the front page of the Western Mail. Um, I mean, we say, don't we, that it's football up here in North Wales, but George North is changing all that, isn't he? Oh, I know. I, I, he's lovely, and I've met his parents as well recently, and, and they're so proud of their son, and we're really proud of what he's achieving for Wales. Um, in, and in the Western Mail today, Sir Clive Woodward is tipping Wales to beat England, so... Good luck to the boys on Saturday. We, we really hope you do well. Yeah. And they've got the favourites tag, which is awkward, isn't it? They don't like that. Uh, and Clive Woodward, uh, presumably, playing a bit of games here, putting the pressure on. I think he is, but I think we can beat them. And in terms of rugby, um, if we think football North Wales, rugby South Wales, Howell Williams, the local MP, was saying recently that people do now go to Cardiff to watch the Six Nations rather than just go to Anfield for the football. Do you feel it's changing, that Wales is becoming more united, that this north-south divide is less? I hope so. I mean, I, I, in our family, we were always into rugby anyway. My father was a big rugby fan. Um, and, you know, like you say, I, I know thousands of people, really, that travel down to Cardiff for the, for the international. So I really hope that the, that gap has closed up. Yeah. And Robin McBride, of course, was also in school with us, wasn't yeah. he? And look where he is yeah, now. I so know. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Linda Roberts, thank you ever so much. We've been reminiscing all morning. I haven't seen Linda for about 35 years. But there we go. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you were only 